Hello, welcome to Academy Well, and it becomes much, much easier. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the interface of your e exams and the calculator on your e exams. So, this is a prototype of the interface there. So, um, just to give you a guide on what you'll be expecting. So, the, when you come in, you see something like this. You select the course, phase one and three. After selecting the test, there'll be a place for um, logging in. So, you write your student ID and then your password. Your password is your matric number. You can see this. Your password is your matric number. Note that. Then after you're done with that, you make sure you read the instructions given. Very important. Then you start the test. Immediately you start the test, your time start counting. So um, this is actually physics and we have a lot of questions here. But this is not our major priority. Our major priority is how we can use the calculator in the e-center. During the mock CBT test, a lot of students were saying, complaining the calculator is not working. Actually, the calculator is working perfectly. It's just that they don't understand the principle of operation. So that's what I'll be showing you in this video now. So if you have asked to find the square root of 9, maybe in your calculation at the point you are meant to find the square root. So you don't just do like a normal calculator, square root. You click on square root. Then write 9 equal to, you are seeing your answer 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So this is what was happening, people were saying it's not working. Now on the e-center calculator is, is different. If you want to, so let's clear this. If you want to find the square root of a number, you click on that number, we have 9. Then click on square root, click on it, it gives us our answer 3, you understand. The same goes for trigonometric functions. If you ask to find the sine of 30, we do not click sign and 30. If you do that, it's going to give us 30. So that's wrong. And you'll be saying the calculator is not working. What you do is you click on 30, type 30, then you click on sign 0 0.499, which is approximately 0 0.5. So the second thing you need to take note of is if you are asked to multiply or do any basic operation. Let's say we ask to multiply 6 times 9. You type 6 times. The time is not going to show like in a normal calculator. Once you pressed it once, it has affected already. Then you press your 9. 6 times 9, it gives us 54. So you don't wait for um, times to show. You'll be pressing times, times, times. You just press it once. Continue times 9. It gives 54. So that's one of the tricks you need to know. Well, um, functions that involves radian, that's, that involves pi, you can actually perform, from, just go and click on rad, you can actually perform such functions there. Then also there's another column in, on the e-center calculator, it's not actually here, for binary, where you can solve binary operation. I've done a video on that, that's the CPT trick. It's very helpful in your CPT 111 exam. It will be very helpful because you'll be able to carry out basic operation in binary, multiplication, addition, and conversion from one um, binary to decimal, from decimal to binary. You'll be able to carry out with that function, which is um, BIN, binary. So if you have not watched the video I did, the CPT trick I did, please watch it. It's going to be very beneficial to you. You are going to save a lot of time knowing that trick. If you ask to find the antilog of any number, assuming you have been asked to find the pH of a solution, you of course you should know after solving you arrive at the antilog of a number. So since there's no antilog here, what you do is one of the ways of solving it is you find the log of each of the options. If it gives you the number you solved for, if it gives you the number you got, it means that's the right answer. Very important thing to note is that when you open your calculator tab, it's going to cover the question tab. So it's either you write down what you want to calculate on the sheet of paper that will be given to you or you know, note it on your head so that you don't open, close, check back, open, close, it's going to waste your time. Then when you're done using calculator, make sure you click on close. Very important, make sure you click on close or else you will not be able to use the calculator again. So that's it for this video and after you're done with the test, you click on submit. When you click on submit, make sure you see congratulations, you have successfully completed the test before leaving your seat. 
if you don't see this complain to, to any of the invigilators around you so thanks for watching if you are to subscribe make sure you subscribe for more tutorial videos so you get notified of any upload we do